I'm ready. Good morning. Is it recording already or yep, no? We are live. You know what I'm most excited for this morning? A ver. Guess. What is it? What is it? You made me this drink. Yeah, it was a... Uh, wait, wait. And I know you guys are probably going to be like, oh, here we here go we again. Go again. <laughs> Talking about salud. But you guys that genuinely know me, Miriam, the girls at the warehouse, my siblings that do watch this, um, you guys know that, number one, I love it. I love all the drinks. Usually, like, well, I love all the flavors. Wait, right? let's drink it together at the same time. And number two, you. this is their De, De Oro collab, uh -huh. which we also love, too. So mm -hmm. I'm excited to try this flavor. So this is a little ASMR. First time I try it, I promise we yeah, got it. Yeah, me too. We got it last night. Well, we we got it in our hands. I don't know if Yesterday, we got to the warehouse yeah. before that. And we op Mando opened it this morning. All right, let's taste it. This is taste what, test. what brand? What, um, Maracuya, if I'm not mistaken. We're going to have to take Nito this because Nito loves my All right, you ready? Nito's my brother, by the way. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's tasty. This is fire. That's super tasty. Refreshing, too. Refreshing, I think, number one. Yeah, this is fire. Maracuya. Maracuya. Flavor by De Oro. Collab with Salud. It's good. This is crazy. You know why it's crazy? Because I'm not a maracuya mm. fan. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm put her out when when I when she when I told her what's the flavor with the oro, I was like maracuya. She wasn't super excited about it. I was not. She was not super excited about it, but seeing her reaction, I think that's pretty badass. Well, the reason I said from the beginning that my brother was gonna love this is because he makes a maracuya agua fresca, yeah. and when he first did it, I was like. What is maracuya? I didn't even know what that was. And yeah, this is good. Then when I first tried it, it kind of tastes like a little bit of guava flavor mm -hmm. a little bit for me that I had never tried it. But over time, I started drinking it a little more because, again, my, you know, we have it at yeah. my mom's store. And then here we go again. Maracuya, go. second time I What's ever hear about this. What's the code to it's use on tastesalud.com, babe? TCR10, which we are always getting asked. Yeah. TCR10, uh, make sure you use it on your next Wait. shopping. Next time you visit tastesalud.com, use code TCR10 at checkout. So what is up, you guys? Welcome to another episode of the TCR Podcast, episode 93. I don't have a fun fact or an interesting what? fact of 93 because the one that I saw, it was little sad vibes. I didn't oh, want to bring that it? one up. 1993 World Trade Centers, the first bombing of the World Trade Centers happened in 1993. That's actually what Biggie Smalls talks about. Blow up like the World Trade. What? And he's not talking about... The 2001, because by 2001, I think he was already yeah, yeah, passed he away. Already, but I yeah. think he was. Uh -huh. In 1993, the World Trade Centers were bombed for the first time. I never you, knew You did that. not know no, that? No, ever. Well, for all the young people watching. Um, under, even older, even mid, mid uh, oh, what is it, middle-aged people. But I yeah. didn't know oh, that. There you go. Interesting fact. Not fun. Because last time I got corrected, I was like, they were like, Mando, that is not a fun fact. It's That's because we interesting always, fact. yeah, we used to say Of 1993, fun first time the World Trade Centers got bombed. All right, babe, let's reintroduce ourselves. I know, I know, we're on episode 93. That's on chingo. Yeah. And you would think that we kind of already established and everyone that listens to us has been listening to us since day one, which that is not the case. We've got a lot of new subscribers because of the last episode that went super crazy, by the yeah. way. The Cristian Nodal and that whole cheese vibe, And right? Mando has been posting a lot of TikToks, TikToks that yeah. have been going very viral, very viral, I would yeah. say. And um, so I feel like we got a lot of new people. So, yeah. Uh, so before we continue, you guys, I am Lily Bay, fiance of... Impromando. Impromando. We reside in beautiful Tampa, Florida. Correct. The best state to live at, ah. in my opinion. In my opinion. <laughs> Cause biased, because we is, are from This here. is where we're at. Well, actually, um, no. I was born in California. Okay. But um, my parents came back to Florida okay. when I was like one or two. So I've never been back to where I was born, which is San Jose 408. Actually, we might go this year. Okay. Finally, after so many years. Um, but I was raised here in Tampa literally my whole life. So when people ask me, where are you from? I want to say Tampa. Okay. Like, yeah. That's all I that's know. That's where you're from. But then if you really want to ask, I guess I was born in California, right? Somos yeah. Mexicanos, Americanos. Mm -hmm. Pero I always say Mexican, like 
even though, yeah, I was born here. I am Mexican from Guanajuato, and my mom is from El Estado de Mexico. Uh, we go to Guanajuato literally every single year since I can remember since I was a baby. And yeah, that that's, is me. That's funny, us introducing ourselves on episode 93. Mm -hmm. But this is for the people that don't know. Or there's probably people that heard all 93 episodes and they still yeah, don't my, know. My OGs you know? know everything about Just me. In case. Everything, everything. But where are you from, babe? I am from Belle Glade, Florida. A little small town right under the eye of Florida. There's a big like hole or eye in Florida. If you guys see the maps. Lake. A big lake. Well, it looks like an eye. You know, if you see the maps. But it's a big ass lake. Um, there's a little small town called Belle Glade, Florida, known as Muck City. The reason Muck behind City, baby. Muck City is because of the dirt and how great it is to produce sugar. Which 90 something percent of the sugar of the United States comes from that area. Dang. Just so you guys know, fun uh -huh. fact. I was I was actually born in Pahokee, Florida, a town like 15 minutes away from Belglade because in Belglade at the time, no había hospitales. Ahora sí hay, pero en ese tiempo no había. Which, by the way, you would think I, everyone knows of all these little towns, but yeah. I had never in my life heard of Belglade, Pahokee, Clouston, Indian Town. Yeah. Um, all these little Jupiter. I had never in my life heard of them. So that's how that's how you know how small right. of a town they are. Um, it is a farmer's town. Farmer's right? town, yep. Um, super small, one major street. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Main and Street. Main obviously. Street. Um, but they don't have like a Walmart or anything big like that. They have to if they really want to go to like a Publix or something, drive about mm -hmm. 45 to hour out. But continue. Yep. Uh, my parents, um, they're both from Guanajuato, Mexico. Like you said, we go there every summer. We love going. I love Vanda. I love partying. I love soccer. And uh, we have a brand called Guadi's Brand. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do. Yeah. That's what we do in a nutshell. I know we could go on and on and on, but that is a reintroduction of ourselves, just in case you guys don't know who we are. You know? Yeah. We've been engaged three years. I know. Sheesh. Everyone asks me every pa single day. La boda? La boda, la boda, la boda, but, you know, <laughs> I don't know. This was fun. <laughs> it'll come. It'll come. This is um, a fun little reintroduction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know? uh -huh. you said you like banda, you like soccer. What yeah. do I like? <laughs> I like working out right now. Renovating her home. Renovations. We're actually building, a, what would you call it? Apartment in Mexico, mm -hmm. right? Would it be an apartment? A, a studio, maybe. Studio, whatever that you want to call it in Mexico. It's not whatever, babe. Don't. Sorry. Don't say whatever. Because if you say it's whatever, it's whatever. <laughs> so the it's reason why whatever. the reason why we decided to build on in Mexico is because... A lot of people love vacation homes, right? Yeah. And I, when we were thinking about, you know what, where, if we could, where would we build? Where right? would our vacation home be? Yeah, like where? And I was like, you know what? I'm the type that I don't care to go to the same place over and over and over, right? Personally, unless I'm going with friends and they've never been or whatever, yeah. right? Like somebody's bachelorette, it's fine, right? But for us to go to the same spot over and over and over when there's so many places in this in world, world yeah. for us to travel to, there was, there just wasn't a place for me to pick other than Guanajuato. Why? Because Guanajuato is where our, where we have family at, where we go every single year. It's like yeah. a tradition. We go for Las Fiestas. It's like a family tradition for not only my side of the family, but Mando's side too. Even, thank God. Thank God, yeah. Mando's, ran, Mando's Pueblo, sorry. Mando's yeah, Pueblo. Pueblo is only 15 minutes away from my rancho, and we have fiestas at, at the same time. Mm -hmm. And um, it was like, it was a no brainer for us. Yeah. Like, we're always going to be coming back here. Our kids are going to be coming hopefully. here, hopefully. <laughs> so... Yeah, why? It's, it just made sense yeah. for us to build a little something out there. And yeah. And Hak Tua. Hak <laughs> Oh my God, you should get into that a little I bit. I want to talk about that a little bit and where it came from. The first time I heard about it was when I posted my, shout outs to you guys, viral video of the sound of happiness. And people were like, no, that is not the sound of happiness. <laughs> the sound is hap of happiness is hot too. I'm like, what the hell are you guys talking yeah, the, about? Yeah, all the comments were saying yeah. that. I was like, am I late to this? What's going on? So pretty much it's a girl from Nashville, Tennessee, one of our favorite towns. Which to I want to go back to. So Hopefully one day. She actually got interviewed mm -hmm. by a YouTuber asking her, what is something that you're... You, what is something that you do that your man goes crazy for in bed? Oh, that was a question. That was a question. What? And I feel like, I feel like, 
going to Nashville, Tennessee, or any area like that, like with bars after like midnight, that's the best time to get these interviews, right? Yeah. This is the best time to get the real, real side of the people, raw truth. The raw truth. And that's what he did. I don't know at what time he recorded, but that was prime time. Like the girls was drunk, the people were drunk. People were lit. People were having a great time. So she responded that. And the internet went crazy. Mm -hmm. The internet went crazy. Everyone, It was all over my TikTok. This it's weekend, still all over my TikTok. This weekend, we were with friends. They came over from Houston. We said it like a million times. We said it like a million times, just randomly. And I feel like everyone is doing the same. Yeah. And it's just picking up and it's only going to get The comment crazy. section on almost everything yeah. refers back to it some way, somehow. So then I did a little research because mm -hmm. your boy likes doing research. This girl, like I said, is from Nashville. She actually was a preschool teacher. Mm -hmm. She got fired. By the principal because shaking my head. the kids at the school were spitting and saying that word <laughs> because they saw this on YouTube. That's low-key funny. So they had to get, you know, they had to get rid of her. But it's not a sad story. Now she's making merch. Now she's making some money. Is she? Yeah. Good for her. She's taking pictures with people. She's signing autographs. Because I, I saw some TikToks that she was like MIA because of all of the viral, be, because of all the viral sensation okay. situation, because she got um, fired, that she was hard to find after that, that she went MIA. Yeah. So she resurfaced, resurfaced or that part wasn't No, true? no. Like there's a video of her right now. This is my research from today. The updated stuff. I okay. know maybe the weekend she's like, you know, I need some time off. Yeah, maybe figuring cruda. out what to do. Maybe cruda from the weekend, from drinking so she much in Nashville. She needs a cruda t-shirt. Yeah, she needs here. a cruda t-shirt for sure. Good mm -hmm. idea, babe. Let's contact her and send her a cruda t-shirt. <laughs> Let's just make her a hot tour. Hot tour cruda. <laughs> <laughs> but the reason that I bring all this up, oh, it's raining outside. You hear it? It's pouring. You can pick it up on the mic, I think. Maybe. I, oh, yeah, I hear it. Well... There you go. We got some rain. Finally, man. We've we've had we've This is some We rain. went May without no rain. Mm -hmm. And June now it's starting to rain. Our grass is getting greener and it's starting to feel good. So yeah. My cows are getting wet. They love it, by the way. They freaking love it. But yeah, um, back to the subject, baby. Oh Let's yeah, not... we have too many cows, you guys. Ah, <laughs> oh, love yeah. Charlie Lou and Chapo. Follow right them there. at the mini carnales. Insert right here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Continue. Sorry. <laughs> okay, just making sure I'm so the reason that I bring this up is that TikTok, social media, it's its a crazy world we live in. You just don't know when you're going to go viral. You just don't know one little stupid video, what it could get you, you know? Correct. So the the video that I posted about la, the sound of happiness, I was like, you know what? Let's try it out in Spanish and let's see how it goes. So you guys here on the podcast are going to be my test dummies. We're going to redo this this is going to be reenacted. This is just for TikTok, you guys. But right. we're going to follow each other. We're going to, you know, you're going to see it behind the scenes. You ready? Mm -hmm. Spanish. And then you're going to end it with tracas a la verga. Or whatever you want to say. Okay? Tracas, hijo. We might have to do two or three takes. I'm going to leave this on in here, by the way. Okay. Let's see. How sh what should I say? How should I get your attention in Spanish? Um, Mi amor. No? no, no. Don't say that. Amor. No, Vieja. No. no. ¿Quieres escuchar el sonido de la felicidad? No. Just, Just ¿Cuál es el sonido? Okay. ¿Quieres escuchar? No, no ¿cuál es? No, ¿quieres? You, do, you, ¿Do you know the sound of happiness? What is the sound okay. of happiness? ¿Cuál es el sonido de la felicidad? ¿Cuál? Like con huevos. Ok. <laughs> I'm going to leave this in here, eh? Ok. ¿Cuál es el sonido de la felicidad? No, I don't like how that sounded. All right, you ready? Mm. I'm going to leave this in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me shut up. Right. ¿Cuál es el sonido de la felicidad? Mm. Ha, tu, ah. Just kidding. No, let's do it again. <laughs> I gotta be faster, right? Yeah. Okay. Or say, babe, ¿cuál es? Babe, no. babe, ¿cuál es el sonido de la felicidad? Tracas, hijo de su puta madre. <laughs> Moving on. We went to your sister's house yesterday, right? Uh -huh. And she's like, what are you guys talking about on the podcast today? Mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? I have no idea. She's like, you should talk about this. And this is still on TikTok. So hopefully you guys like TikTok. She was saying how there was a guy and a girl at the airport. Let me read it. Let me read it to you. So pretty much this is a TikTok, right? 
It's of a girl recording a couple behind her in the flight. It says, if this man is your husband flying on United, flight 2140 from Houston to New York, he's probably staying with Katie tonight. What does that mean? Pretty much this girl was at a um, uh, airport bar and she saw two, a girl and a guy talking, right? The, gr- the guy had an, uh, a ring, mm-hmm. engagement ring or whatever. Um, they were flirting or whatever. They didn't know each other. And they ended up switching their seats to sit together on the flight from Houston to New York. And she witnessed all of this happening. She witnessed all this. She's Mosa vibes. Mm-hmm. Pero no pasa nada, right? He also said, because she's listening, right? No, she also ended up sitting in the airplane. Yeah, right behind, right with in front them, of them. Like right in front of them almost. Right. Mm-hmm. He convinced her to change her seat so she could sit next to him and they could drink, right? Um, he also said his eight-year-old daughter danced for the Astros opening night. He's from Fort Worth, says he's a surfer. She's got a new surfboard. Supposedly, President of the company he works for and flying to New York City for business. I wouldn't known he was married if he didn't have an engagement ring. Excuse me for rubbing my eye. I don't know what else to do while self self record. So TikTok do your thing. Mm. And TikTok did its thing Wait, in 12 hours. Wait, is the video hours. actually up there? Yeah, it's right here. I I'll post seen it right it. here. I'll post it right here. You want to see it? Yeah, I want to see it. I want to see it cuz they were talking about this yesterday. All right, let me read the comments. Honestly, the video didn't look bad, but let's see. Look at this one. You going to read it or I read it? A ver. Me to my husband as he's walking out the door for a work trip. If you decide to act up, TikTok has my back. Him looking hella confused. What? Have a good trip, dear. (laughs) Imagine landing and he gets a text from his wife already well aware of what what he's up to. Dang. May your hair slay every day, your manicure perfection every single time. Win free iced coffee for the rest of your life because you're doing the Lord's work. In five hours, in five hours, they got 6,670 comments, 74K likes, 6,900 saves, and 2,300 shares. Dang. This This man ain't even have time to make it home. (laughs) All right. Lastly, this makes me mad at my husband and he's in the room sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> That's all girls always. What's your take on that, babe? Uh, that nowadays you can't be slipping because I feel like there's cameras everywhere. Everyone's recording. Everyone's in people's yeah. business. Everyone is literally looking for something to post. Such, even trying to go viral with things because, I mean, look at this. Five hours and all of that happened. Which is good, right? Yeah, it's good. Like, el que nada debe, nada right. teme. So, I don't mind. Day, yeah. Your true colors will come out. Yeah. They're going to come out. You're going to get caught sooner or later, right? Mm-hmm. Mostly with I this wanna, day. But I want to hear a part, too. Like, what, what happens? Imagine it's just bullshit. Yeah, because nowadays I've seen... I saw a TikTok where somebody was trying to record the same thing. There was people at a bar. Um, and she was the girl recording was on a work trip. No, no, no. It was a random girl recording and she was recording two people sitting at the bar like behind her. And she was making up this whole story like this happened. Like um, they, they were they've been laughing all night. And I see that he yeah. has a ring, yada, yada, yada. So then somebody stitches that video and she's like, hi, I am so and so um, co-workers of both those people. Uh-huh. We were actually on a work trip all together. That was a hotel that we were all sitting at. And you see all those people around them? Those are all our co-workers too. Like, she just debunked that whole scenario that that one girl that recorded made up. So that's why I'm like, hmm, I don't hear nothing. I just yeah. am seeing what this lady is saying. Is it true? Is it not? I don't know, but... The only one that will know is the wife. Yeah. By seeing how this guy is acting, like, is he, like, acting flirty? Is that his normal self? Like, he gets along with everyone. You know what I'm saying? So, we'll see. I hope, hopefully, there's a part two. Like, yeah, the lady I'm, comes on or... I'm excited to see it. They did tag the lady. Um, mm-hmm. The lady? Wife, which lady? The wife? But she hasn't posted in, like, six months. So, there's really nothing going on there. Mm. So, there's... 
But uh, hopefully on the next episode, episode 94, we could talk about it. Be like, look, this is exactly what this happened. This is part two. This is part two. And uh, here's the update. Yeah. All right, babe. Talking about flights, are you excited for this week? Yes. Oh, my God. Wait, what are you most excited for? I'm going to go see Pera Noches, baby. Hopefully. Sheesh. Yeah. You guys, we have a trip planned out this weekend. Um, It's actually a work trip. Yeah. We have some events to attend to, but while I'm out there, I'm like, we can't not make time to go see, first of all, our good friends, mm -hmm. and second of all, baby Celine. Yeah, so I'm super excited. excited for that. We haven't been in LA in five months. Last it's time been we five went, months? yeah, last time we went was for Pera Noche's wedding. Okay. So I'm excited. No. I mean, last time we went was for Pera Noche's baby, baby shower. shower yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited just to be out there, the vibes. Hopefully even see more of our friends yeah. out there if we can. Uh, make I, we, I do want to see everyone, but everyone doesn't live in L.A. Everyone lives, yeah. like, away different. from it, different areas, two, three hours um, away. So we'll see. We'll see what yeah. we get into. But L.A. is always a vibe. Um, I'm excited for some games that we're going to. I'm excited for some concerts. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for everything, everything. Um, the eating, hanging out, just catching a vibe out there. Yeah, let me tell y'all what, what I can tell y'all. Because it is a work trip and there's things that we can't talk about. Not because we don't want to, but it is what it is, right? Mm -hmm. The number one thing, the first thing that we're doing, hopefully the Mexico game. By the time you're listening to this, the Mexico game is happening or just happened. They play Venezuela. Hopefully, we could make that happen. I'm super excited for that. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And at night, we actually got invited to the Salud um, collab. The Euro collab. Mm -hmm. So, it's a banger. Which we've never gone to none of their events. Gone. They always invite us, but being that we're all the way in Florida, they're it's all hard. the way in LA. And again, you guys remember, I'm trying. we're trying not to go to every single thing we get invited to because we get invited to yeah. LA almost all the time. once a week. Right. So, imagine that. So, yeah. So, um, finally, it all all aligns. We yeah. have a work trip, the Salud event. Um, finally seeing our, our baby, our, what, how do, how would I call niece. this? Our baby niece, Celine. Our yeah. baby, don't be, don't be jealous, Valentina. It's a post, what do you call it? <laughs> Nieta postiza, or yeah. what do you call it? Yeah. We're the favorite uncles, by the way. <laughs> she doesn't know it, but we do. Hopefully, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, and, yeah, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for the weekend. The week, I mean, we leave on Wednesday, you come back on Monday, so... A lot of activities, a lot of posting, a lot of eating, like you said. So, sun's out, guns out. It's summer, baby. Bums out, Armando. Bums? bums. Sun's out, bums out. Maybe it's sun's out, bums, buns out for girls and guns out for guys. I like right? That. Let's like, just put like it that buns, way. Like buns, like butt? Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> Never heard that. Mm -hmm. But I'll go with it. But yeah, sun's out, guns out. Sun's out, buns out for women. But what I do want to talk about, too, is the summer Guadis hats that we just dropped. Oh, yeah. Which one do you think is going to go, like, crazier? Let's I think say. para arriba, para abajo, para el centro y para adentro. The green one? Yeah, yeah. No, so, fire. yeah, so we do drop hats every year. And before it was very random. Yeah. Right? But now, shout out to us having more people on the team helping us being more organized than what we can handle. More, right? Yeah. Um, we kind of have a little more structure. So Schedule. we are dropping our summer trucker hat collection for women. But there is a man, a man's version coming right. out too. Because um, trucker hats are just in right now. And I was like, what better than Guadis to come mm -hmm. out with some trucker hats? Because it's all the vibes. Um, summer is here. Trucker hats are trending right now. So Yeah, I actually, um, we went to the beach this weekend. And I was about to put my new era hat on. It's a Tampa Bay hat. You guys always see me rocking Tampa Bay. But I was like, this hat's a little too heavy. It's a little too, like, structured mm -hmm. for the beach. Let me put my Tracas hat on. Which he hasn't taken off, I haven't guys. taken off. But I like the weight of it. I like how it feels in the sun versus, a, like, a new era hat. It's like, you know, it, it just a trap traps more heat. That's where I'm trying yeah. to go. And this one, since it has, like, a net back, mm -hmm. it's, you know, there's more airflow. A little airflow. more airy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's why I like wearing these. So, yeah, it was actually released last night on the app, but it's available today for you guys. So go on Guadis.com, go check it out, and mm -hmm. uh, make sure you shop Guadis brand. So, yeah, we, we actually released it on the app first. And in case you don't have the app, just know that every yeah. single time we release, it will always be on the app first. So a little fun fact there. Mm -hmm. I actually saw this on social media. I was like, you know what? I'm going to talk about it on the podcast. Pretty much it said, book that flight. Get your passport. Book the flight. Stop making excuses if you can. 
if you can financially right now, stop overthinking it because there's going to be a point where you cannot make it happen, either financially or health wise. Yeah, because there might be a day where you can't. And I always tell my parents is like, you're only getting That's older. True. You never know what's going to happen. You know, Maybe nothing happens to you, but what if something happens to your significant other and you would have wished that you would have yeah. done it together when you could have before, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you can, right? Because you just never know. El día de mañana is never promised. So if you can do something today, just do it. Don't overthink it. I have, I'll, I'll put my cousins out. I have so many cousins out that, they, they want to do a lot and they want to go a lot of places. And I'm always like, okay, let's let's plan this. Let's plan this book right now. Not You don't necessarily have to book it right now. I understand that everyone has it, but at least set a date. Like set a date. I always give them their birthdays on ex for as an example. Like, okay, let's do it on your birthday. Yeah. Daqui and next year. But have a date in mind. That way you're working towards it. Because if you just say... Oh, one yeah, day. one day I want to go to Costa Rica. I have a Theo. He's in his 50s. And he's like, it's always been a dream of mine to go to Costa Rica. And I'm like, yeah. okay, but when? And he has the means to. He has the means to do it. And because he don't set a date, it it hasn't happened. And now it's 50-something years later. It still hasn't. Um, my mom working at her store, I'll give you another example. She has a, a Cuban, ya viejita lady that comes into the store all the time since I can remember and she went to, what is it, Machu Picchu? Machu Picchu. Yeah, Machu Picchu. Chile, this, Chile right? Yeah, senora no, that Peru, I'm... Peru, my bad. Uh, this senora that I'm thinking about, um, she would, when I was younger working at my mom's store, she would always come back from vacations. But yeah. when I was younger working there, she was already older, like retired older. Okay. Like maybe, maybe like in her like late 50s, early 60s, from what I can remember, right? And um, I, I, she, I would hear her talking to my mom about her vacation, whatever. And I would always hear her tell my mom the same thing over and over. Sí, Leti, tú tienes que salir de aquí. Ve, ve a donde tú quieras ir porque mírame yo a mi edad. Like, she struggles a lot to get from, like, point A to point mm. B. But she likes or, it, right? Then when she went to Machu Picchu, or I don't, I'm yeah. probably saying that uh -huh. wrong. Um the altitude was like killing her, mm. like her bones. You know, se que tanto. She was always like complaining. She would still push herself to go because, again, she'll tell them, I'm only getting older. Like, if I could try to make it happen, I'm going to try to make it happen. But um, that is a perfect example because, again, my mom works all day, every day, has the means to if she really wanted to, but she doesn't set dates. She doesn't. Yeah, I think it's setting a date. She doesn't set a date, so then it doesn't happen. Yeah, because like, you say one day, and one day just never yeah, comes. Yeah, like I told her yesterday, I'm like, Ma, um, we might extend our L.A. trip and go to San Francisco. And what did she tell me? No, 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 no. Yo no, 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 no. Yo te voy a llevar. Why? Because I was born there, and she's always felt like she needed to take me back. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm literally a middle-aged woman already. And, <laughs> you know, like, when are you going to take me? And, again, she has the means to, yeah. but by her not setting dates, it doesn't happen. That's true. So set a date, figure it out. Even if you have to put $50 aside, to like, every, account, you know, yeah. every few weeks or whatever, you and your man or whoever squad trip you want to go to, but do it. Yeah. This is your sign, you guys. This is your sign, you guys. Mm -hmm. Before we go... There's a travel hack that I want to talk about. And I'm going to mess it up for myself because if you guys listen and you guys do it, we're all going to be screwed. But here it goes. You get to your flight. You get to your, what's it called? The, the door. Um, the gate. The gate. My bad. You get to your gate. You sit wherever you want to sit. And you see everyone go into the gate. Everyone scrambles and tries to get in the plane right away for whatever reason. What do we do, babe? We always wait. We wait. We sit down. We wait till it clears up. We're relaxing at mm -hmm. that point. We're not stressing. Que go, go. Just Waiting in line. For no reason. You're yeah. all going to. The flight is not going nowhere. Yeah, yeah. We wait until everyone enters the plane and then we go. Yeah, in. once the line is over, mm -hmm. then we go in. Um, so, yeah, that's a travel hack that we do. Mm -hmm. I, I and, understand. Go ahead. And if you're a lot of people say because they want to put their yeah, their luggage. stuff up there, if it doesn't fit, they'll check it for you, which is even better. Yeah. I'm like, take it. I'll Hell pick it up yeah. later. <laughs> um so yeah, that is our travel hack. Sometimes the line takes like one or two hours. Yeah, like I feel like an hour people an hour, are waiting there in line. So that hour, I literally watch a whole movie while I'm sitting there just chilling. And I feel like there's a lot of stress, like trying to get in the plane and 
get in your seat. The, by the line not moving. Yeah, yeah, by the time we get into the plane, our seat is there. Yeah. Waiting on Nobody, us. Everyone has a, unless it's, what is it, America? Southwest. Uh, Southwest, Southwest. That's Southwest, the only yeah. one that you got to like run to pick a yeah, seat or whatever. One, which is a little <laughs> weird. You kind of got to get in line to make sure you secure a good seat. Mm -hmm. But other than that, um, that's a travel hack of the day. Yeah. And that's it for you guys. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for joining. Hopefully you guys enjoy all the content that we're about to show you guys in LA. The mm -hmm. great times with everyone. And we know that this episode was a little short, but... At least we made it happen because it almost, we almost close. didn't happen. Look, we're literally sitting here ready to go to the gym. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, let's do it. Knock it out the way and give them what, what we promised them. Weekly uploads. Weekly, correct. And yeah, that is it, you guys. Thank you all for tuning in. Hope you guys have an amazing week. rest of your day, week, yeah. month. Puras buenas vibras over here. And we'll see you guys later. Nos Bye. vemos, you guys. Thank you. Puro TCR Podcast. Let's go. Today we're announcing the Sky Dad giveaway winner that we did on the TCR podcast. And the winner is... Dun, 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 dun. The winner is NA Bridge 96. You are going skydiving Sheesh. with me. Just kidding. Not yet. Not yet. I ain't ready for it. But yet you are the winner. We're going to get you flat. Let's go.